Try to obey Jesus.
that tip for your ear.
God, we're all going to die someday, and where are you going to spend eternity? Where are you going to spend eternity? What is 90 years? If you make it 100 to eternity, you're going to go to a place of torment or a place of comfort. you got to repent. God bless you. Obey Jesus! Obey the Word of God!
take my clothes and follow you. Take my life in this world. To the world, the world is dead to me, and I am dead to the
no sinners in the kingdom of God, only ex-sinners. Who will go tell those people? Now repent, turn from your sin, turn from Keep your wickedness. Hearing. There's only one understand. way to the kingdom of heaven. My people perish for lack of knowledge. They rather watch these wicked movies, these wicked TV shows, these wicked music, these wicked idols. Cardi B, Katy Perry is indoctrinating you. You're blind. This wicked world is indoctrinating you. Satan is playing you like a puppet, and God's going to destroy you when you die. Turn to the one true living God, Jesus Christ, that has power to save your soul, and you will never die. You will never die. You will go to a place of comfort or a place of torment when you die. Obey Jesus Christ. Yes, an ambulance just drove by. One day, an ambulance and a fire truck is going to be coming for you. And what are you going to do? It's appointed for men once to die. After this comes the judgment. We're all going to be judged by God. And you're going to be judged in righteousness. You can't do enough good deeds on your own to go to the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ died for all so that all can no longer live for themselves but live for him. Jesus Christ, the one who died for you and rose again and that has power to save you from your sin and that has power to save your soul from hellfire. Yes. Nowadays, here in America, there's a lot of Greek mythology in this wicked world. This wicked world mocks and blasphemes the Holy Bible. Even on an ambulance, has the serpent of Hermes. The serpent of Hermes Greek mythology on an ambulance. Yes. You think that snake on a pole is meant for the, the Lamb of God? When Moses lifted up the snake on his staff and he who looked at it was healed to be a prophecy of what to come in Jesus Christ? No. This wicked world mocks and scoffs and blasphemes the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, this wicked world is filled with Greek mythology, abominations, through your Starbucks, through your Dove soap, through your Venus razors, through your Disney movies, through your Trident, through your Maserati, through your Versace, through your BMW logos, 
It's all Greek mythology. They mock and scoff our Creator God, Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. Yes, I am in this world, but I'm not a part of this world. I'm not a part of this wicked world. Jesus Christ has pulled me out of this wicked world. Now I live holy. Now I live set apart. You're going to die. And you're going to go down. You're going to go down. Trying to drown out the preaching. Yeah, take your lawnmower somewhere else. I run faster than that. I run faster than that. Yes. America has the sin of Sodom, their pride, their fullness of bread, their idolatry, and all your abominations. Yes, overweight. God's going to destroy this nation. God's going to destroy this nation just like it did Sodom. Pride, fullness of bread, idolatry in all your abominations and God's going to wipe it out and he's going to see that it's good yes unless you repent turn turn from your wickedness Jesus Christ said he that committed sin yeah you laugh and you mock Jesus Christ said that the cross the Lord. yes and he called them to repentance did they stay prostitutes did they stay whores yeah. you're blasphemous you blaspheme my holy God you're a Pharisee. The one that's preaching the whole counsel of God is a Pharisee or the one driving by mocking and scoffing. You're deluded. You're on your way to a lake of fire except you repent. You phony, you hypocrite Christian. Yes. Oh, I'm hateful. Hate sounds like truth. Truth sounds like hate to those that hate the truth. Yes, you're going to die someday and you're going to stand for a holy and righteous God. I'm preaching the goodness and severity of God. What, because you go to your apostate building on Sunday with your effeminate pastor wearing his Victoria's Secret cologne, tickling your ear, telling you smooth things because he wants your money. Yeah, I don't want you. Yes. Yes. That's that phony, hypocrite Christianity in America. Phony, hypocrite Christianity in America. These fake Christians say Jesus hung out with prostitutes. Jesus hung out with sinners. Jesus hung out with whores. Yes, Jesus does not call the righteous but the sinner to repent it, to turn from your sin. These phony hypocrite Christians have the audacity to call a real born again believer a Pharisee. You fake Christians, you throw out that word like it's nothing because that's how you feel about yourself because you're not born again with the spirit of God. So you judge unrighteously. When you judge, that's how you feel about yourself. Because you're not out here uh, preaching the goodness and severity of God. Yes. Phony, hypocrite Christians in America are going to burn. Phony, hypocrite Christians that go to a building on Sunday but live like a child of the devil every day of the week you're gonna burn yeah you don't want to hear that do you your phony pastor doesn't tell you that does he because I don't want your money the Bible says train a child up in the ways of the Lord but when they get older they will never depart nowadays in America people want to be just led by the devil they want to be led by their daddy 
the devil. They want to live in sin like their daddy, the devil. Yes, God's going to destroy you on that day if you don't repent, turn from all your sin, turn to childlike, humble faith in Jesus Christ. That's power to save your soul from sin, from death, from hell, from condemnation. Water.